All right. The number one question I get asked and I don't really know how to answer or I didn't really know how to answer until right now is what is your advice for beginner music producers? People just starting out, what is your advice? The reason I say I didn't really have a good answer for this is because I'm kind of baffled by that question. So hopefully you all will watch this video and let me know if my answer makes sense. And if you are yourself a beginner music producer, somebody who's just starting out, I think this will be a really important video for you. In fact, even if you're somebody who's been in it for a little while, but you're still having struggles, I also think this will be a good video for you. All right, so my DMs, my stream chat sometimes, get flooded with very, very basic questions. And I'm not talking about the question from the top of the video. I'm talking about questions like, what DAW do you use? What speakers are those? What plugin is that? What headphones do you use? And at some level, those are valid, but on another level, I want to tell you all to stop asking those questions and not in a rude, like, I don't want to answer your messages kind of way in the way that specifically relates to my answer to this question. What is your best advice for beginners? And here it is. Everything that I've pretty much done in the past five years when it comes to music production, anything that I do on this channel, it's all open source. You want to know what program I use, what plugin I used, even what video production stuff I use. You can find it either in a video or in the description of a video on my Instagram, on my Twitter, all of the above, all the information is out there. So what beginners need to do the number one piece of advice I could say, it's not technical. It has nothing to do with what program you use. It has nothing to do with what gear you get. It has nothing to do with what your social media strategy should be. It has to do with how you solve problems and how you overcome hurdles and how you answer every single question that pops up into your brain on your own. This is the number one thing you can learn to progress a thousand times faster than you will if you are taking those questions out to other people constantly. Now, there's of course a time and a place for this. Pretty much every stream that I do, I say, I'll answer questions along the way. Things always, common questions always come up. Every time I open Splice, people ask, what is that? And I'll answer, Splice. And that's great, and that's why I like streaming, because in real time, I can just like quickly rattle off the answer to those questions. But say you're not in the live chat, say you're just wanting to make a similar kind of music that I make and you come across a video and you see me open this program that has all these samples in it and I'm just quickly downloading them and dropping it into my DAW, leaving a comment that I might not see or sending me a DM that I might not see is not the fastest way to get the answer to your question. DMing creators and leaving comments is almost never the quickest way to get the answer to your question. You might get lucky and have somebody see your public comment and answer for the creator. That's great. You might get extra lucky and I do answer comments occasionally and I'll, I'll leave an answer myself or the creator themselves will leave an answer but it's not 100% reliable. You don't know if you're gonna get the answer. And what are you doing in the time between when you asked the question, and let's say it's a day later, when you get the answer to that question? Take the rest of the day off? What if it's not a week until you get the answer? You just like have that question unanswered for a week? No, instead what you need to do is literally become an expert Googler. This has not only helped me progress as an artist, but it's also like literally gotten me work. When people come and say, we want to do X, Y, Z, I might know how to do X, but not Y and Z, but I certainly know how to Google how to do Y and Z. So when you're a beginner, you're producing music, you have maybe bought a MIDI controller, you maybe downloaded a program. What you need to do is start creating until you hit a wall, until you're like, I don't know how to make that sound from that song that I really like. And instead of messaging the producer, literally typing into Google how to make lead sound from song xyz if you're lucky you'll find a specific tutorial on how to make sounds that that artist often uses if you're not super lucky you won't have a lot of luck and that's where the expert googler skill comes into play because now you want to search for things that are semi-related to that maybe that one producer you're looking to emulate the sound of is kind of obscure and there's not a lot of resources on how to make their sound but maybe there's this other more mainstream producer that has a similar kind of sound and you can kind of find how to get close via that and it's not just like about sound design either my midi controller is delayed when i push a button there's too much delay okay you type that into google and suddenly hopefully you find the answer 
but delay is not quite the right term. Latency is. It's all about understanding that you don't necessarily know the terminology as a beginner, but you can still attempt to ask those questions. And when you start to see results and answers that are close to what you want, but aren't exactly what you want, you just keep reading and looking for context and try to figure out how to ask the better question that's gonna get you the actual answer. Doing this and being self-sufficient and independent and in answering your own questions is absolutely life-changing. And I would highly, highly recommend that you just don't comment these questions or DM creators for the answers because it's going to waste you time, not because it's not worth the creator's time, not because they might not take the time to answer you, but because it wastes your time when you could be solving that question probably in 30 minutes tops, maybe if you're, if you're good, if you're lucky and then move on and, and start going until you run into the next wall. And suddenly in that research that you just did, you learned a few other terms that are gonna help you search for the answer to the question to the next wall that you run into. And it's constant. I hit walls still all the time, no matter how long I've been doing this. I hit technical walls all the time. And then there's one other part of this that I wanna talk about, which doesn't really have to do with Googling, but it has to do with you inferring things rather than feeling the need to have everything explicitly stated to you. What I mean by this is I have a lot of videos about like the Launch Key Mini or the Akai MPK Mini. And what sometimes can happen is people get really specific with their questions. Um, how do I do this on the Akai MPK Mini? When meanwhile, I actually have a tutorial doing the same technique, and it actually doesn't matter what MIDI controller you used, I was actually doing it on the launch key. But the answer to your question is in that video with the launch key, you're just being too specific about your question and really narrowing the amount of results and information that you're taking in. Not every piece of content has to be made to specifically answer your question for you to find the answer within that content. And a great example of this, I cannot recommend this enough, every single interview with music producers that you see, like there's tons of Phineas interviews, all of those uh, genius behind the beat or whatever they call that series, I might not wanna make the specific kind of music that those producers make, but I know when I watch those videos, I am going to learn so much even if I didn't have a specific question going into the video, it might solve an issue just by watching it that I had months ago and forgot about. And I might learn something that because I didn't know I had the question, I would have never found the answer to. By just like being a sponge and absorbing all the things that these producers with great success are doing. And that is also not just about watching the video, listening to what they say in the interview, or listening to what they say in a podcast. It's about like you're watching a video of somebody work in Ableton Live and something they don't even mention is on their screen in Ableton Live and you're pausing and you're figuring out what's the name of that plugin, zooming in on it, trying to just like decipher everything that's going on in the background and then going down that rabbit hole, Googling that plugin, seeing what it does and then watching that video back again and seeing how the producer was using it, seeing how it was affecting the sound, even though they might not have even talked about it. So I hope this is all making sense and I hope this is some value, but I really do think this is my number one advice for beginner music producers. Be independent, be self-reliant. Of course, there are times to reach out and ask for help, but also ask yourself, can I solve this? Can I figure out the answer to this on my own? And if you can, that's a hundred times better than having to go out and get the answer. I hope this video was helpful. That is my number one advice for beginner music producers. If you think it's good advice, let me know in a comment. If you think there's better advice for beginner music producers, let me know that in a comment too. Leave a like on this video on your way out. This channel is made possible by channel members. So if you're able to click the join button down below, you can become a part of our amazing Discord server. You can get free samples. Uh, it's a really great community we have over there and you can submit music to our track review streams. So consider clicking the join button, but of course, just subscribing with notifications on and throwing a like completely for free is a way to support this channel at no cost. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been Tatro. Have a good one.